Okay, so if we're in an asking bid sequence and we haven't agreed any suitors trumps, if teller, i.e. the person answering the questions, has shown a suit, then if we haven't agreed another suitors trumps, an ask in their suit is going to be gamma unless they've shown exactly a four card suit when they are known to be 4441 in which case it's a bid called ETA which we come to in a few weeks time <coughs> but ETA is a form of gamma uh, it's given a different name because there are different conditions attached to it okay once we have agreed a suit as trumps whether it's teller's suit or one of our suits if we have agreed a suit as trumps then a bid in partner suit can never be gamma if we've agreed their suit as trumps it can be a repeat gamma but it can't be gamma itself if we've agreed a different suit as trumps then gamma goes out the window as do all of the trump asking bids they're only available until we agree a bid as a suit as trumps So most of the time, gamma is after a, um, an opening bid of one club, partner shows a suit positive, and we end up asking about that, that suit before we've uh, agreed a different suit as trumps. But as I've said there, there are different places in the system where gamma is available. We can use it over a week, two heart and two spades. It's available over a two club opening. Uh, there are times when we have it over the uh, the two diamond openings and the two no trump openings and over major suit openings so there are plenty of places in the system other than one club openings where gamma is available then there's no way responder is going to want to play in no trumps so if if teller shows ace king to six or or six card suit with two top honors there's no way that's going to be insufficient for the askers purposes so now we might use say three no trumps as a relay beta rather than a sign off or backing out of agreements with a, 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 say a major as trumps um, but if uh, for example Suppose South had shown a heart positive here, but they only had, say, a 10 high suit, and North ended up asking about hearts, and South bid two spades over two hearts, showing no top honour in hearts. Now North might bid two no trumps, saying, sorry, that's not enough, I think it's going to be better to play in no trumps, or have you got a second suit? In other words, two no trumps is still handing over the captaincy but now that nullifies the agreement of hearts okay any questions so far about trump agreement or the rules for trump agreement when gamma is used okay Okay, we will come to the length known gamma in a minute. Um, in fact, eta is a length known gamma, uh, but it's only used when partners known to have exactly a four card suit. Um, okay, other, apart from that, the length known scale, um, apart from the other one is, is over a week two opening, we normally use that as a, a length known scale uh, because if partner had a seven card suit they'd be more likely to open three of the major rather than two of the major um, okay so here's the length unknown scale Okay, so this is where where we have a minimum possible length for partner's suit, which um, 
might be four cards if it's for example over a two diamond opening but could be longer um, but normally it will be at least a five card suit so that would be the minimum length for example here south has shown at least five card spades but they might have longer spades as in fact they do here um, so now two spades is eater and now two no trumps would show no top honors with any length of the suit if we don't have the ace king or queen that's what we would bid two no trumps over two spades three clubs would show one top honor with only a five card suit two diamonds sorry three diamonds would show uh, two or three top honors with only a five card suit four steps which is what we're actually going to bid here is a six card suit in other words minimum length plus one with one top honor then six card length with two top honors six card length with three top honors um, and then the next bit after that is going to be showing one top honor with minimum length plus two in other words here a seven card suit so here South is going to bid three hearts, a four step response, which shows a six card suit in spades. Oh, blast. Sorry. So here, three hearts is showing six card spades with one of the top three honours. Um, okay. Just bear with me. So here, for an example, uh, like I said, uh, the minimum length for South Spades is five, because if they only had a four card suit, they wouldn't be bidding one no trump. Uh, if say opener opens one spade you've got one no trump and now two spades now for the purposes of gamma the minimum length is six because they've rebid the major uh, in sequences like such as um, two diamonds two no trumps which is a two-way transfer to clubs however the minimum length would be four if opener bids three clubs which would be gamma in clubs when responder is 14 plus uh, the minimum length of before because a 4-4-2 four, four, suitor is good enough if responder is 14 plus but obviously they may have more an easy way to remember is that a raise of the gamma ask is always showing minimum length plus one with two of the top three honors so there we've had uh, one club um, if it goes one club one heart two hearts which is gamma in hearts three clubs would show a five card heart suit with two or all three of the top three honors and if we have a sequence like one club two diamonds positive in diamonds two hearts being low level beta two no trumps three controls now three diamonds will be gamma and four diamonds a raise of the gamma ask would be showing six card diamonds with two of the top three honors In practice, uh, as I think I'll say in a minute, just hang on a second. Oh, no, maybe not. Um, okay, so, so the structure is never that 
uh, I mean, the, the technically, the responses are never showing exactly a five-car suit or exactly a six-car suit. It's always minimum length or minimum length plus one or minimum length plus two. Depending on the range. Okay, so if it goes one heart, one no trump, three hearts, that's now a six card heart suit at least. And now three spades would be gamma in hearts, but the minimum length would be six cards, not five. So now four diamonds would be showing six card hearts with two or the top three or two or three of the top three honours. The next three responses, other than above four diamonds, would all be showing minimum length plus one. In other words, seven card hearts with one, two, or three top honours, depending on how far they go. The next one would be... The next three would be minimum length plus two. In other words, an eight-card heart suit. Um, and as I've said there, the current role record for Gamma... As, the, as far as I'm aware, uh, is held by Esther when we were playing a few years ago, uh, where she made a 13-step response, showing a nine-card suit with one top on her. Um, I nearly fell off my chair when she did that. But again, you can work out exactly what that is showing. It just takes a little bit more time. <laughs> Okay, any questions about the length unknown scale and how we apply it before we move on to the length known scale? As I've said, the length known scale is fairly rare in the simple system. It only applies really in two places, one over the two no trump opening and the other over weak twos. Um, all of the other instances where it's effectively a length known scale is when it's eta. And we know that partner has exactly four. Okay. All righty, let's move on. Okay. When we do know exactly how long partner's suit is, then the scale is different because now we're including, if they've got at least one top honour, whether they have the jack or not, as you can see there. So now one step is still no top honour. Two steps is one top honour without the jack. Three steps is one top honour with the jack. Four steps is two top honours. Five steps is two top honours with the jack, and six steps shows all three top honours. In the unlikely event of it ever occurring, seven steps would show all three top honours and the jack, but it's never happened to my knowledge, um, and uh, it's unlikely that uh, it would ever occur. It's not impossible. But it is unlikely. But if it does occur and you get a seven-step response to a length known gamma, um, then you will know what it is. Okay, so I, I did mention before that uh, eta is effectively a length known gamma. We do differentiate between eta and gamma only because eta is very common when we've used responses or openings that show four 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 ones, and eta is also used can also be used after stamen and partner an opener shows a major suit, uh, and it can also be used over two club openings, but it's. Eater is reserved for when we know they have exactly a four card suit and gamma when it's um, if it's a length known gamma it's when it's known to be exactly five or six cards and 
and there in fact there are no situations in OCP where we can have a suit that's known to be seven cards. So it is always known to be five or known to be six, it's gamma. If it's known to be four, then it's eta. But the responses are effectively indistinguishable. So there, we've got a two no trump opening, four clubs response, four diamonds showing both majors. Four no trumps is gamma in hearts, and now it's a length known scale. Did I mention two no trumps as the opening, as the possible? Um, it's two no trumps and weak twos are the only places uh, where we can have a length known gamma that's five or six cards in uh, OCP, in the simple system. So uh, four no trumps would be using the length known scale since if we open two no trumps and then show a major two suitor, it's when it's exactly 5-5. Five, five. If it was 6-5, we couldn't use or wouldn't use the two no trump opening. It's only when it's exactly 5-5. Five, five. Um, so that would be gamma in hearts using the length known scale. So there we have a single situation. We've got a two diamond opening, three diamond response, which is a two-way transfer to diamonds, either showing diamonds and maybe hearts and naught to four, uh, or certainly at least three card hearts and diamonds. And three spades would now show that opener has a heart singleton. And that's to play if opener is naught to four, but it's uh, an asking bid if uh, responder is 14 plus. But now sorry, four clubs would be eater, not gamma because now responder is showing that clubs is their second suit and we know that if opener's got a singleton heart, they must have four card clubs, and we know it's exactly four cards. So that would be eater rather than gamma. But if it goes, for example, two diamonds, two no trumps, two way transfer to clubs, and now opener bids three clubs showing four card clubs, that would be a length unknown gamma because although responder doesn't have to have more than four card clubs they might have any length of clubs he's just promising a 14 plus two suitor but it is gamma rather than eta because they might be longer Okay, guys, any uh, any questions on the length known scale? Like I said, there's only really two instances in the uh, simple system where it's found, which is over weak twos in a major and over the two no trump uh, opening where opener ends up showing a major two suitor. Bear with me a second. Sorry. Okay, where are we? Okay, repeat gammas. Okay, so sometimes asker, i.e. the person doing the asking, rather than teller who is the part, 
person answering the questions, Africa can make a repeat gamma in the same suit below game level. Potentially, if we've established slam values, it can be at game level. Um, for example, supposing it goes one club, one heart, one no trump, uh, low level beta. Two no trumps showing six controls. In other words, three aces or two aces and two kings or an ace and four kings. Now probably we're pretty close to establishing slam values. So if it goes three hearts, perhaps a response showing uh, three no trumps showing one top honor to five. Now four hearts might be a repeat gamma asking for clarification about um, exactly what top honours opener has. And we'll come to that in, in detail in a minute. Um, but normally a repeat gamma is only going to be below game level. If it's at game level, it's just going to be a sign off. OK, the scale that we use for repeat gammas depends on what teller promised in response to the first gamma okay so if teller has shown no top honors then they're simply showing additional length so they might only have a five card suit or they might only even only have a four card suit so in response to the repeat gamma one step would show the minimum length, two step shows minimum length plus one, three step shows minimum length plus two, etc, etc, etc. Okay, so we can find out exactly how many cards in the suit uh, Teller has. Okay, so if Teller has shown one top honour, however many cards they've shown in the suit, if they've shown one of the top three honours, then now we're in response to a repeat gamma, one step shows either the queen without the jack or the king and the jack. Two steps would show the king without the jack or the ace and the jack. And three steps would show the ace without the jack or the queen and the jack. And if you think of it as a circular sequence, it's in ascending order for the top honours from the Queen, King and Ace and the alternative is the next top honour upwards with the Jack. So Queen or King Jack, King or Ace Jack and Ace or Queen Jack. And normally we find that Responder can tell. So for example here if North bids three spades which they might well this is a repeat gamma it's a repeat after the gamma response below game level so here north is either showing the queen sorry south is showing either the queen or the king and the jack so they've either got Queen XX, XXX, or King Jack XX, XX. And of course, North can tell because they've got the Queen which one of those it is. If North had the Ace, Ace to three spades, they wouldn't be able to be sure. South might have either of those two holdings. But normally, uh, we can tell. And it's a little bit similar where we've shown two top honours. Okay. It's either the king and the queen or the ace, king, jack. Then two steps is the ace and the queen or the king, queen, jack. And the last one is the ace and the king or ace, queen, jack. And that likewise is uh, 
it's constructed in a fairly circular fashion um, so that there's always a difference between the holding without the jack and the holding with the jack. Okay, so if we're using a length known gamma, then he simply shows which top honor or which two top honors they hold. Because obviously he's already shown or denied having the jack with his initial gamma response if we're using the length known scale. If it's the length unknown scale, then he hasn't said anything about the jack with his initial gamma response. So the repeat can include whether he's got the jack or not. Uh, there are two other ones. Normally, if uh, Teller has shown all three top honours, it's very rare to get a repeat gamma. Um, and it would only really be when Oscar has um, probably not been expecting a response that good and was perhaps intending to jump shift eventually to a different suit. But uh, if Teller has shown all three top honours and perhaps a six, uh, a six card suit, sorry, a six card suit or a seven card suit, in other words, it's, it's got to be at least a six or a nine step response because the uh, three step response to Gamma is either two or three top honours. So that doesn't count. It's only when they've promised all, all three of the top honours that this occurs. Then the repeat gamma relates solely to possession of the jack. So if Asker has used gamma when they've only got, say, two small in the suit, and Teller shows ace, king, queen to six in the suit, now to be sure of Trump's solidity, Asuka might make a repeat gamma, in which case they'd solely be asking whether Teller has the jack. So one step denies it, two steps promises it. There is one other situation and it's there are only two sequences where this applies. It's where opener has opened one heart or one spade, responder bids one no trump, forcing no trump, and opener rebids two no trumps, which shows a set up six card suit or longer. Um, then the repeat gamma, a bit like when they've shown no top honor, relates solely to any additional length in the suit but now it's always a six card minimum. So one step would show a six card suit, two steps show a seven card suit, and so on and so on. Okay, any questions about repeat gamma? Those last two instances are pretty rare. Um, it is normally when uh, Teller has shown one or two top honours that it happens. Occasionally when they've shown no top honours, uh, for example, Asker might have ace-king to four in the suit and they want to know if uh, Teller has a five or a six card suit. Um, if they've got a six card suit, then ace-king is normally enough to guarantee Trump solidity unless there's a three nil split. Um, but a five card suit, you have to reckon on having at least one Trump loser, for example. Okay, now we come on to there is. Hello. Um, 
okay, there's one special scale for Gamma, which is where we've had an opening of one of a major, one no trump, 40 no trump, and a rebid of two clubs or two diamonds. This might only be a three card suit, but we do still allow Gamma in that suit. But now, this has a, a one off special scale for Gamma. Um, so the one step response would show any three card holding. Um, responder might have a five or six card holding in that minor. Um, in which case they're still going to be happy to play opposite a three card holding. And if they make a further relay over the one step response, that's now a length known gamma. But with the length, partner's length known to be three card suits. Um, so the one step response shows any three card holding and two steps shows the normal length unknown gamma scale but now four cards is the minimum length because it's a second suit so if opener shows a three card suit um, the suit is not considered agreed unless responder makes that second relay which is the length known gamma in the suit I think I've got some examples here. So here we got one spade, one no trump, two clubs, which might be three card. Three, two diamonds over two clubs would be gamma in spades, length unknown gamma. And three hearts is gamma in clubs. If opener now bids three spades, that shows three card clubs. And three no trumps would be natural into play. And clearly, uh, three card clubs is not enough. Four clubs would be gamma in clubs, but it now it would be that's the relay, so that would be a length known gamma, knowing that opener's got three card clubs. So that's a slightly special case because here three no trumps is backing off from agreement of clubs. It's not the relay. Now four clubs would be the relay. Another example here. So now we've got one spade, one no trump, two diamonds, which might be three card. Now three clubs will be gamma in diamonds. Four clubs will be showing a five card diamond suit with one top honor in the suit. Because four clubs is the minimum length, don't forget. So over three clubs, three diamonds will be showing three card clubs, three hearts, three spades and three no trumps are showing no top honours with four card suit, one top honour is showing with a four card suit and two or three top honours with a four card suit and so four clubs is showing five card diamonds with only one top honour in the suit. Okay, does anybody not follow that last example? Because that's the sort of, that's the critical kind of example to realize that over three clubs, three diamonds is showing three card clubs, three hearts, three spades and three no trumps are all showing four card clubs and four clubs, four diamonds and four hearts are all showing five card clubs. Sorry, diamonds rather, not clubs. Okay, any questions about those special sequences after a forcing no trump and a rebid in a minor before we move on?
Okay, a few uh, bits of advice about gamma. If responder makes a positive and you've got a good tolerance, um, rarely it might be as bad as too small, but certainly if you've got a, a doubleton top honor, it's very often, not always, but very often good tactics to actually agree their suit with a gamma as long as you think you're going to have enough space, even if you've got, say, a long, strong suit of your own, it's very often cheaper to use a low-level beta, use gamma in their suit, just to get a suit agreed. Then you can use epsilon to find out how good their support is for your suit and then decide whether to play in their suit or to jump shift back into your suit, which would always have the effect of ending the auction. That's very often quite a good step if you've got a reasonable tolerance for their suit. Okay. Okay. If we use gamma, apart from that forcing no trump example where opener ends up showing a three card suit, if partners, if we get, if we use gamma and we get a response that shows some average number of uh, average holding, i.e., not one of the exceptions, then a relay over the response, not in the agreed trump suit and not in no trumps if partner's suit is a minor, then that's relay beta, given the normal rules for relay beta that we looked at the week before last. Okay? So if it goes, uh, well, for example, here, in the sequence that we've got shown here, we've had um, gamma in spades, we've had repeat gamma in spades, um, Three spades is repeat gamma because it's in the trump suit below game level. It can't be relay beta. Three no trumps over three hearts would be relay beta. But now over the three no trump response to three spades. Four clubs. Is relay beta. So that's the normal rules for relay beta. If we've agreed any trump suit, any a suit as trumps by means of asking bids, then with the exception of uh, the relay being the agreed trump suit, in which case it's either going to be a repeat gamma or maybe sigma if it's a um, an alpha ask that's agreed to trump suit and if it was theta or iota which we start looking at I think week after next um, it would be asking which of two alternatives alternative holdings uh, teller has if it's not one of those special circumstances um, then a relay in a new suit over the gamma response is relay beta I relay in the cheapest new suit over the gamma response And if we've agreed a major, two clubs already beta. Very true. Thank you very much, Michael. Okay, so in this instance, okay, that wouldn't apply. You're absolutely right. I'd forgotten that we used uh, two clubs beta and got a specific number of controls. So actually, four clubs here wouldn't be relay beta because we do know exactly how many controls partner has. Thank you for that correction, Michael. I shall undo that. At least somebody's awake. It's, yeah, as Naomi says, it's a good job somebody's awake here. It certainly wasn't me. That's right. If two clubs got a two diamond response, then four clubs would still be relay beta. Okay? Because... Two, two diamonds over two clubs will be showing naught to two controls, so we still don't know exactly how many controls Teller has. But 
when they bid two hearts, they've shown exactly three controls. So now four clubs can't be relay beta and would in fact be Epsilon, which we look at next week. Um, and that's actually probably... Um, Probably what North will be bidding here, because uh, if you think about it, North knows that South's got the King Jack of Spades, so that's one of their three controls. They must have another two controls, so they've either got the King of Hearts and the King of Diamonds, or they've got... Um, the Ace of Diamonds. Must be one of the two. Okay. But they might have three small clubs. Entirely possible. And that would give them almost certainly an inescapable club loser. Okay, so four spades shows second round control, which North knows is a singleton. Um, now, pretty much, uh, because North is going to be playing this contract, um, it is technically possible that South could have the King of Hearts and the King of sorry, South can't have the King of Hearts and the King of Diamonds so they must have, in fact South must have the Ace of Diamonds and the King of Spades that's the only possible holding here that would give South three controls because they're known to have the King of Spades they can't have the two Red Suit Kings because North has got one of them so they must have the Ace of Diamonds Three controls can either only be three kings or an ace and a king. Since they've denied the ace of spades, they must have the ace of diamonds. Uh, North can tell if South's got the singleton club that any diamond loser that South might have is going to go on the king of clubs and or a long club. But they know they're missing the ace of spades, so there's no point really in asking any further questions here. North's just going to bid six spades. Okay, any questions so far? We've actually nearly finished the teaching little bit here. Okay, as you'll see in the examples and in the practice hands at the end, uh, sometimes it's worth using a low-level beta, especially over a, a one club and a positive. Um, very often worth using a low-level beta before, and even if you get a range response, that means that your relay beta over the chomp agreement if you're going to use gamma, is always going to be giving you a, uh, a specific number of controls if the first one gave you a range, the low-level beta gave you a range. Whereas if you don't use the low-level beta, then uh, if the relay beta gives you a range response, now you've got to have the space to use four clubs or four diamonds as a high level beta which can use up valuable bidding space later on so sometimes it's worth using it um, not always and and if you're crafting the asking bids you've got to judge 
and it's very often a matter of how many controls Asker has. If Asker is very rich in controls, it's much more likely that Teller is going to be relatively weak in controls, and so the low-level beta is unlikely to go past the level at which you can make a cheap gamma ask in responder suit. If, uh, on the other hand, the 16 plus opener is relatively weak in controls, it's much now much more likely that responder will actually have quite a few controls, even if they're relatively minimum, um, and, and now they might well be going past the response where you can make a cheap gamma ask. So then you might just go straight to gamma and then use relay beta. <coughs> Okay, last thing. Okay. Usually, the mere use of gamma agrees the suit as trumps. And if Asker doesn't specifically back off from uh, agreeing that suit as trumps, um, then the agreement of the trump suit is confirmed. In other words, if they use relay beta, then that confirms that they they have agreed the suit, and now we're on to uh, epsilons over the beta response, the relay beta response, unless another beta is required and and it's available. Uh, in the cases where um, and it doesn't occur very often but if uh, say responder makes a positive response to one though one club showing a major um, and opener uses gamma and then we get a a response, a gamma response that shows no top honors or only one top honor and minimum length. In other words, a one or two step response to gamma. Then an immediate bid and no trumps cancels out the trump agreement. And and if it's if it's not the relay, if a a bid of no trumps is not a relay, then it's always cancelling. The times when it's potentially could be or couldn't be is when it's a major and the relay is a bid in no trumps. And now, the, if it's a one or two step response to gamma and the relay is a bid in no trumps at any level, then that is always to play. But if it's a three step or greater response to gamma, and it's a major suit that we're agreeing, then a relay in no trumps would not be cancelling out the agreement. It would, in fact, be relay beta. But if the bid in no trumps is not a relay, then the general rule is that it's always natural and to play. So potentially, um, suppose it goes... Uh, one spade, no, sorry, one club, uh, one no trump showing spades, two clubs, um, asking about controls, uh, two hearts showing three controls, two spades, gamma in spades, and now... Uh, Respond a bit three diamonds showing a five card suit with two or three of the top honors Okay, so over three diamonds three hearts would be relay beta So if opener now bids three no trumps That can't be anything other than to play in other words clearly Opener was hoping hoping for a six card suit at least 
but a five card suit so they probably only got two two of the suit and so a five card suit isn't enough and they're going to want to play in no trumps rather than uh, in the suit but if we had say a sequence of one club one heart one no trump asking about controls low beta and now two diamonds showing three controls two hearts gamma two spades showing uh, no top honors in hearts now two no trumps is handing over the captaincy and that backs off from agreeing hearts as trumps it says if you haven't got any top honors we're better off playing in no trumps rather than hearts and here you know it might even be that uh, opener has got three or four small in the suit and still uh, it's saying we're better off in, in case one defender has ace king queen x sorry ace king queen jack x um, or ace king queen 10 sat over the jack if partner's got that it's saying we're better off playing in uh, in no trumps than in your major okay any questions Like I said, don't worry if you if you can't remember all the ranges and the different scales. It's all shown on the website. And uh, have a look through the notes on the website on Gamma um, or download the uh, Precision Teaching PDF file and have a look at it. And uh, gradually they'll settle down. Gamma is one of the relatively easy asking bids, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, any questions before we uh, have a look at a couple more examples and then move on to uh, some examples, some practice hands. Okay, another example. So here we've got a one spade opener from West. East has got a monster hand here opposite a one spade opener so they're going to start off with one no trump which is just a forcing no trump West is going to bid two diamonds and now a bit of two hearts which is a relay in the cheapest new suit over openers rebid is going to be gamma in spades So here, two spades would show no top honor in spades. Two no trumps would show one top honor with a five card suit. Uh, and three clubs is going to show a five card suit with two or three of the top honors. And of course, East knows exactly what West has got now they've got King Queen to five so now three diamonds is going to be relay beta and in fact this is for for those of you who are interested in the history of OCP um, this is actually where relay beta originated even back uh, before um, I played this system with uh, Jason Hackett back in the very very first uh, incarnation of OCP before Jason and I got together um, this asking this use of relay beta was in the system it was the only place where a, a relay over the gamma response was was beta and this is where it originated and later on um, long after Jason and I had stopped playing together um, we decided to widen this use of relay beta to any time that we agree trumps using asking bids that relay beta would be available potentially it's not always a relay in the next suit if uh, alpha was the original ask 
then sometimes a relay over the positive response to alpha is actually going to be a bit called sigma, which is a bit like a, a repeat alpha. Um, and the relay in the second cheapest bid over the positive response to alpha is going to be relay beta in those circumstances. Um, but normally, it's a relay over the positive response. Okay, so three diamonds here is relay beta. Um, three spades is going to show three controls. So now we've got uh, a situation where East knows that we're missing one king, and he knows it's the ace of the king of diamonds because that's the only king, the only other king apart from the king of spades, which West has promised that he can have. Um, and so that must be the missing king. And we don't care about the king of diamonds missing because we've got a singleton in the east hand. So now we're going to start asking about the other suits. So now over three spades, four clubs is going to be acting on in clubs, asking about the degree of control that West has in the club suit. So two-step response to Epsilon shows third round control of the suit. So at this stage, that might be a small doubleton. It might be queen to three. It might be queen X, which is what West has here. It might even be queen to four. In other words, a suit with the queen. Uh, not very likely in this instance. Or it might, so a suit without the jack. And it might be four or more to the queen with the jack. Either of those last two is very unlikely, but not impossible if uh, West has a void heart, obviously. So now we can have a repeat epsilon. So this is asking what kind of third round control did, did four hearts show? And now over five clubs, five diamonds would show a doubleton club, in other words, a shortage. Five diamonds, sorry, five hearts rather, would show an honour, in other words, queen to three, exactly. Five spades would show exactly the queen doubleton, in other words, both an honour and the shortage. So queen X exactly. Five no trumps would show a suit, in other words, four card or longer suit without the jack, and five uh, six clubs would show a four card or longer suit with the jack. Those are the five possible responses to a normal repeat epsilon. So here... West is going to bid five spades, which shows exactly queen X. So now, what does East know about the hand? Um, he knows that West has got king, queen to five spades. He knows they've got at least eight to three Diamonds might have ace to four, might even have ace to five. And he knows that they've got exactly queen X in clubs. It can if they've got a void heart, Paula. If they were four, sorry, five, naught, four, four. They could have four card clubs, theoretically. The main thing that East wants to know here 
to be fair, is actually is whether West has got the queen of clubs or not. Once, once West does have the queen of clubs, seven is looking really good. If they've only got a doubleton in clubs, then seven needs a, a little bit still. But where, uh, where Respondent's got Queen X exactly, seven is still pretty good. Because if West has got... Uh, no, sorry, Paula, you're wrong. They would rebid two diamonds. If they had four diamonds and four clubs, they would show that the highest of those two suits. In other words, diamonds. That's the way. That's the way natural bidding works. That you tend to bid your suits downwards. Okay, you wouldn't. If you had two three card suits, then you would bid two clubs. I agree. But where you've got two four card miners, you would rebid two diamonds. Because now, if uh, East bids two no trumps over two diamonds, which is just 11 to 12 balanced, no good support for either of those suits. Now you can rebid three clubs, and that pinpoints the heart shortage. Um, might only be three card clubs, but more likely to be four. And, and now Responder is in a position to pass three clubs, give preference to three diamonds or even to spades without going up a level. That's why. Okay? Anybody else worried about that? Like I said, in this instance, it's very unlikely that West has got four card clubs, but it isn't theoretically impossible. The rule is for openers rebids is that they show the next highest four card suit if they can. If they've only got 5332 shape, over the forcing no trump, they rebid their cheapest three card minor. So if they've got three card clubs, they bid two clubs over one no trump. If they haven't got three card clubs and they've got 5332 shape, in other words, they are exactly 5332, then they bid their cheapest three card minor, which is three diamond, two diamonds. Okay? Anybody else not sure about that or why? Okay, so here, East has to make a decision. They could start. Um, they've established exactly what uh, East has in diamonds, in clubs rather. So there are two possibilities. Essentially, West either is 5-3-3-2 or East is 5-2-4-2. Or I suppose they might even be 5152 shape. If, uh, if West is 5242 or 514, sorry, 5152, then we know that we haven't got a heart loser. And we can probably establish the clubs because West has got the Queen, so slough off at least one, if not two, diamonds. If, however, West only has three card diamonds, and they are exactly 5 3 3 2, we've got the top three club honours, and West has got exactly Queen X, so one of those heart losers is going to go on the third club. So now we can rough our hearts good, or rough our hearts away in the west hand. And if we can establish clubs, we're going to be able to get rid of one of the diamonds in west's hand. So we only have to rough one round of diamonds in the east hand to make seven. Either way, there's not much point in asking any further.
So again, this is another instance where good analysis by East will actually lead them to the right result because they can work out all of the possible permutations Okay, um, so over three clubs, three diamonds was relay beta, three hearts would be epsilon in hearts. In other words, I don't need to know exactly how many controls you've got. That's immediately asking um, uh, what degree of control West has in hearts, because we've agreed spades and we're in asking bid sequence. Three diamonds is relay beta. Three hearts would be epsilon in hearts. Three spades would be a repeat gamma in spades. Three no trumps would be saying, sorry, five card spade suit, not enough. I was looking for six card spades. So three no trumps would be to play. Four clubs would be likewise epsilon in clubs. And those are the only possibilities. Theoretically, four diamonds would be epsilon in diamonds. But it's almost inconceivable that East would give up the opportunity for, to use relay beta just in order to make an epsilon ask in diamonds and ignore beta. They would use three diamonds beta and then bid four diamonds over the uh, beta response. Okay, Sanya? Anybody else got any questions about that hand before we move on? Okay. Hang on a second. The wife is asking something. She wants to know about relay beta. Just, just bear with me a second, guys. I'll be back. You know exactly where I keep them. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Um, alrighty, uh, one more example. Um, okay, I've mentioned two diamonds as a possible source of gamma asks. Um, here we have an instance. So this is this two diamonds is 16 plus with the, well 16 to 23 with exactly 4441 distribution of some sort. South passes. West has got a nice 14 count with a two suitor. So they're going to transfer into one of their suits. Um, they could transfer into hearts, but let's suppose they transfer into spades. Now, in practice, uh, Three hearts is likely to be 14 plus every time. Because if. Uh, no, I suppose it, it could be 0 to 4 still, this actually. Um, if uh, West was 0 to 4 with spades and clubs. Decaf, please. Decaf coffee, which is the big round one rather than the rubbery jar. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, if West was naught to four with spades and maybe clubs, uh, certainly three card clubs, they could still bid three hearts. 
um, uh, but they might not bother. So most of the time, this is going to be 14 plus here, because it's a fairly expensive bid over two diamonds. And they might well be able to play in three clubs rather than four clubs um, if they just bid two hearts over two diamonds. It's not necessarily going to be cheaper to make this two-way transfer. Um, okay. Uh, but in theory, three hearts can be two-way. So it's either 0 to 4 or 14 plus with a two suitor. North's going to pass. If West, sorry, if East bids three spades here, they're promising four card spades. If they bid four clubs, then they're showing a singleton spade. And four clubs will be to play if West was 0 to 4. But otherwise, it would be saying, I've got a singleton spade, please bid show me your second suit but here West is going to bid three spades so this is to play if West is naught to four but if West is 14 plus then this is Gamma in spades with a four card minimum length. So here, West is minimum length plus one because they've got a five card spade suit and they've got two of the top three honours. So they're going to bid four spades, which always shows minimum length plus one. Five step response to Gamma in a normal kind of Gamma is always. Uh, minimum length plus one with two of the top three honours. So now we've agreed spades. So here, it's inconceivable that we're going to want to play in no trumps at this stage, even if East had four small. So now, four no trumps is relay beta. Now, um, as you'll see when we revisit the two diamond response, where uh, Respondent uses the two-way transfer with 14 plus, for the purposes of beta, we treat them as 16 plus, because this, this, these are always hands that have decent level of controls. If, if West had a really quacky hand, they wouldn't be using the transfer, the two-way transfer. They just bid two hearts and then maybe use beta before settling on a, uh, a level to play at. Um, so we're using the strong beta scale here for West. So now um, so four over five four no trumps, five clubs will be showing exactly four controls and five diamonds is showing uh, five controls. Oops, sorry. Not that one. Okay, so five hearts is epsilon in hearts. Six hearts, so it's first round control of hearts without second or third round control. So it's at least ace, x, x. And the fact that hearts is east singleton makes it more likely that actually hearts is west second suit in these circumstances. Um, which means they've only possibly got four cards in the minors and one of those because West has got uh, five controls we know they've got 
ace queen to five spades probably ace to four but certainly ace to three uh, hearts which means they must have the king of diamonds because they can't have the king of diamonds that's the five controls the two major suit aces and the king of diamonds Thank you very much, Brenda. Um, and probably not more than three diamonds, unless they are five, four, four, zero. Which means that one of their three diamonds is going to go on the king of clubs. So now we've got a fairly decent route map. Certainly, we can't ask anything else. We've either got to bid six spades or play our hunch about the hearts being the second suit and bid to seven spades. And again, hopefully these hands are, are giving you a little bit of a, a starter about how your thought presses, processes need to be in terms of assessing uh, what asking bids are going to work better than others, especially when it comes to epsilons, uh, and how you can work out a lot about partner's hand without actually asking. So here what we're worried about is West having the ace king of hearts and diamond losers that's what we're worried about so when West shows or for example West showing a lot of stuff in hearts which is wastage from our point of view if they show the ace ace and queen of hearts by showing first and third round control then uh, either it means we've probably got a diamond loser somewhere, but we might ask about diamonds. Um, but in any case, the response to five hearts would be six spades if that was the case. And now we can be fairly sure that the hands actually aren't fitting very well. And we'd probably pass six spades because they might have ace X in hearts. In which case, we've probably got a diamond loser or a club loser somewhere. So we'd stop at six. But where they show first round control of hearts without second or third round control, we can be sure they've got at least ace xx. So now the hands are probably fitting fairly well because we can rough hearts in our hand. We can get rid of a losing diamond from their hand on the king of clubs. And uh, although we don't know about the miners, um, but we know they've got at least two diamonds because if they had only had a singleton king of diamonds, they wouldn't be counting that as a control. So they must have at least king X in diamonds. And if they've got that, then by definition, they can't have more than two clubs. Either way, we don't have a diamond loser. As long as we can engineer heart roughs in our hand, we're almost certainly going to be able to make seven because we might be able to establish the diamonds even if we can't end up uh, roughing three spades in our hand, three hearts in our hand. Okay, any other questions? If not, let's practice some. I've got... Well, that's the point. That's what we're worried about, Walid is if they've got ace king of hearts they can't have the king of diamonds and now we are probably looking at a diamond loser unless we're very lucky and if we aren't looking at a diamond loser we are looking at a club loser okay um, that that's why the asking hearts although it looks a bit weird you know this is a matter of crafting crafting the asking bid sequences um, five hearts is the cheapest ask you know you could ask with six clubs or six diamonds but now the response is likely to take you 
up to or past six spades. Five hearts is your best chance um, of uh, getting the answer that tells you exactly which king they have at a level that's not going to take you past six spades. Okay, if you if you bid six diamonds and they've got a singleton diamond and the ace king of hearts, you've probably got a club loser, but you've passed the level of six spades with the response. Okay, can I have three more volunteers here, please? So that we can practice some hands. Um, come on, guys, don't be shy. Don't want to spend the next 25 minutes trying to persuade three of you to sit northwest and east. Thank you, Sanya. Two more, please. Okay, I know uh, I prefer to have people who aren't really experienced with OCP, but I'll take anybody. Okay, even experienced OCP users. Thank you, John. Absolutely valid. And this is something that you will only learn uh, as you go on. This isn't something you're going to pick up uh, right off the bat, unless you're an absolute natural. And most, most of us aren't. Okay. It took uh, Jason Hackett and me, for example, six months to really get into the asking bid sequence that says that we had really created. I mean, they were created before Jason and I got together, but uh, we only really finalized all of them. And it took us six months to really get into the system so that we could actually use it in competition. OK, um, let's practice some hands. Well, everybody's different, Sanya. You know, some people do pick it up very, very quickly. Don't forget to alert, guys, please, just for the sake of people watching. I'm going to get the bus to call my neck and I'm going to jump straight into a taxi to take me half a mile up the road. So I'm going to cost a couple of quid. Sorry? Doesn't go, wouldn't get me to work until about 20 to 9. Because there's very few buses Sunday morning. I always, and sorry guys, just bear with me. I always normally drive in if I'm on early on Sunday or late on Sunday. Or late on any time, but early on Sunday. This one will no. This one will pick me up at twenty. About just after quarter past seven, this one picks me up. That gets me into Kilmarnock at twenty to twenty to eight, and I need to jump straight into the taxi and go up there, and that will get me there about quarter to eight. Eight. So if there's no taxis, I'm stuffed. I'll try and go in. If I, if I don't get in in time, I don't get in in time. I'll just, just say the bus didn't turn up or something. Because they're not going to know the bus times. No. It's, only, it's only tomorrow that's a problem. It wasn't worth hiring it for two and a half weeks just for that. No, I had, a, I had an inkling actually, that it was going to be a problem, but if it was, I can just jump into a taxi. <laughs> yes, guys, don't forget to... Uh, Are you on EDT already, John? 
I thought that wasn't until the end of March. I thought you were still on EST at the moment. Wow, Eastern Daylight Time's come early. Oh, is it is it tonight that it goes on? Thanks for that. Nightmare. Eastern No, ours no ours don't. Americans do. US is do. Yeah, no, well no, we have more than that because uh I think ours aren't until just hang on a minute. No, it's only, yeah, it is two weeks, you're right. Um, ours are in two weeks' time. I thought yours were normally, yeah, that's right, well, the 25th of March, but uh, um, I thought America's were normally a bit later than this. Okay, um, all right, uh, can we have a claim if we haven't already had one? Have we had a claim? Okay, so... So could North have done more here? Yes, I think they could. Um, they could have made a relay, uh, not a relay beta, a repeat gamma to find out because we know that we're missing, we've got six controls and three controls, so we're missing nine controls. If two of those controls are the ace of spades, in other words, a a repeat gamma of three spades over three clubs will show whether we've got a probable trump loser as well as the missing ace. But when south shows a response that shows the queen or the king jack, so three no trumps over three spades would be showing that. Now we know that two of the three controls is... Uh, the missing ace of trumps. And the only other king that we can be missing is the king of hearts because north has both of the minor suit kings. So we know effectively that south must have the king of spades and the ace of diamonds. And if they've got four card hearts and five card spades, sorry, not four card hearts, um, we can then ask about the clubs, find out they've got a singleton club, and at this point now it's odds on that we're going to be able to establish the clubs on which to discard any diamond losers that South might have. So I think North could have done a little bit more rather than just jumping to four spades over three clubs. It's certainly worth a three, a three spade bid. If, for example, South shows up with the ace of spades... Okay, um, or the king of spades without the jack. Now we've got to reckon on possibly or probably or definitely having uh, a trump loser and a diamond loser because if South's got the ace of spades, they can't have the ace of diamonds because they've only got three controls. Okay, now we might then sign off in four spades. But I think it's worth asking first. Yeah, but if you've got an eight card fit and South's got the King Jack, there's a possibility they've got, a, even a probability that they've got the 10 as well. Not certain, but probability. And if they haven't got the 10, they might have the 9. In which case, uh, even if East has got Ace 10 XX, you can catch the 10. Okay, it's worth going for it, even with your supposedly limited declarer skills, Sanya. Okay, anyway, if you want to sign off in four spades, that's fine. You will be there with most of the room because most people possibly won't be getting to six spades here. But uh, worth a try. All right, anybody else got any questions about this hand before we move on? 
Okay, try this one. Oops, sorry, not that one. Um, okay, we'll try this one. Okay, this is a tricky hand for South to bid. I'll tell you that for nothing, Paula. I mentioned there are some times where... Um, you might want to do something different. That's not it. <laughs> if you're going to bid three clubs, I would bid two diamonds first. Yeah, actually, Sanya, that's what you should be bidding. <laughs> Try again, Sanya, because that is actually what you should be bidding. One spade is the system bid. If we're semi-balanced with a five-card minor, unless we're really quite strong as responder, I mean stronger than an 11 count, we would tend to show that as a balance positive. That's the rule for the system. Um... If South, if sorry, if North had about a 15 count with five controls, then they might bid two clubs despite the fact that they're semi balanced because now they're immediately visualizing a slam. So it's more important to show the suit. But uh, with North's hand, I would bid one spade without a second thought. Okay, now North's. Uh, sequence is a lot more simple. Because they don't know about the club suit. So that's not a possibility. Gamma in clubs isn't a possibility. If North bids two clubs. I will be bidding two diamonds as South. Because I'm very strong in controls. I've got seven controls in the south hand. Okay. Even though FD is alerting, it's good practice, Sanya, for you to alert manually. Really, I would like to see north and south alerting every single one of these bids not relying on FD to alert to uh, show what the bid means, if only because it means that you're understanding what the bid is showing. Okay, so one no trump was low level beta, two diamond shows three controls, because it's the normal beta scale that we're using. Now two spades is a bid called IOTA, which we haven't actually seen yet. Um, funny enough, I was actually hoping that North would bid two clubs here over one club. And then we would, what we ought to see is two diamonds, low beta, a response. And now it's best for South to bid three clubs as Gamma. But given the one spade bid this is the way it should be okay so two no trumps would be showing effectively a doubleton in spades because they can't have a singleton because they showed a one spade 
balance positive. So two no trumps over two spades would be showing a doubleton. It's actually showing less than queen x or three small, but the only holding that's less than queen x or three small that they can have is two small when they're a balanced hand. Uh, so three clubs is showing a doubleton top honor or three small in spades. Now, South has to bid three spades again to get spades agreed because high X or three small doesn't agree the suit, but a repeat iota in the same suit always sets that suit as trumps, whatever the response is. No, Paula, three spades here. You, you know, South knows that North has got three small spades here. They can't have a doubleton top on her because North, South has got all three of them. So spades is the suit that you need to agree, Paula. But you need to bid three spades in order to get the suit agreed. There's no point going off in the hope that partner's got four card diamonds when you know you've got a spade fit and South does know that they've got a spade fit because three clubs must be showing three small spades Okay, so here, North is, this is a repeat iota, so North would bid three no trumps with the shorter of the two possibilities that they showed before. In other words, a doubleton top honor, and four clubs will be showing the longer of the two alternatives, in other words, three small. And that, that's always the way that it is with the uh, iota. There is a shorter alternative and a longer alternatively. Oh, that's good copy. Hang on a minute, guys. I'm just... There you go, Mom. Okay. That should see that off fairly quickly. Okay, so now four diamonds is Epsilon. Okay, so North showed three controls over one no trump. So now we know that two of them is the Ace of Diamonds. And so we know they must have the King of Clubs because we've got the other two kings. The other three kings, rather. Um, and now we've got a problem. As south because uh, because of the one spade bid the opening lead is going to come through our king of hearts potentially and we might be losing two tricks on the opening two 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 uh, tricks on the opening two so south south has to decide whether to take a chance on the hearts or not we know that North can't have the Ace of Hearts, but they might have the Queen, and East-West might not lead a heart, of course. 
Esther definitely is going to lead a heart, given what I've just said. And unfortunately, that five heart response has robbed us of the chance of asking in hearts. If, it had been, if we'd had a five diamond response showing the ace of diamonds without second or third round control, now we, we could have asked with five hearts. And if North didn't have third round control of hearts, we could possibly still have played in five spades. East has ignored what I've said and let a spade anyway. So we don't care. <laughs> and in fact, North got the Queen of Hearts anyway. No, it's all right, Aster, it doesn't matter. You leave what you like. It's fine. It doesn't make any difference. Okay. Um, it doesn't make any difference what you lead here. Uh, six spades is absolutely solid. But that's a tricky one. That's an instance where South has to either bid six spades or sign off in five spades. And uh, it's a bit of a step in the dark. It's entirely possible that North doesn't have the Queen of Hearts. And now you're hoping that East has got the Ace of Hearts, if that's the case. So it's a 50% proposition. Obviously, in a different sequence, it might be South who was going to have the uh, be declarer in which case we wouldn't be as concerned about the King of Hearts. But here we know that North is going to be playing this spade contract. So we might even bid six no trumps here rather than six spades in order to protect the King of Hearts. That wouldn't work out terribly well in this instance because partner hasn't got the Queen of Clubs and I don't think we're going to have enough, enough tricks. I think we need the uh, the clubs to come in for more than one trick, more than two tricks rather. Okay, anybody got any questions? Okay, one. This is a two no trump opener. Paula, two no trump opening here, not a one spade opening because you're exactly 5-5. Five, five. Well done. Of course, North now knows exactly what you've got. <laughs> but uh, they're going to ignore that because Sanya's a very... Right, so uh, you have an unbalanced hand, Sanya, and you don't want to play in three no trumps. You're not strong balanced. Uh you've definitely got a fit somewhere here. Partners either got clubs or they got both minors or they got both majors. That's the only three things that two no trumps can be. You've got a strong enough hand that you want to have a shot at game at least, whatever partner has. So you're going to bid four clubs over two no trumps. Four clubs is unconditionally forcing on South to show what kind of hand their two no trump opener is. Okay, now South is going to bid four diamonds, which shows an intermediate major two suitor. No, 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 Paula, four diamonds. Four hearts shows five to nine with both minors. You've got 11 to 15 with exactly five five in the majors. So you bid four diamonds.
because we need the extra bidding space when you've got the majors. We don't need the extra bidding space when you're five to nine with the minors. Because partners are either going to bid five clubs or six clubs. They're not going to, or they're going to use a gamma. No, Paula, you've got to... Uh, Paul of four diamonds. Okay. So four diamonds is a major two suitor. So now four hearts and four spades by north are both to play. But because we know that south is 11 to 15 with exactly 5-5 five five in the, in the uh, majors, we want to look further. So four no trumps would be gamma in hearts and five clubs would be gamma in spades so this agrees hearts and this is a length known gamma this is one of the instances where we use the length known uh, scale for gamma in the simple system because we know that south has got exactly a five card heart suit because that's what the four diamond bid shows So, south here should be bidding five diamonds, which shows one top honor without the jack. In other, in other words, king to five hearts here, or ace to five, or queen to five, but north knows it's king to five. That's right. Not and can't be King Jack XXX. Otherwise, South will be bidding five hearts, not five diamonds, because this is the length known scale. Okay, so now five hearts would be a sign off, and five spades is relay beta. Anything else is epsilon if it's in a minor. But we want to find first, first find out how many controls South has got. Okay, so this is the normal beta scale. Yeah, absolutely. Normal bidding scale, normal, normal beta scale, because South is known to be intermediate. And there's no special situation here. They could have any number of controls, potentially. Um, so it's 0 to 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, six hearts, I think, uh, Paula. Six diamonds would be showing four controls. Five no trump shows 0 to 2. Six clubs shows three, six diamonds shows four, six hearts shows five. Just hang on a minute, Sanya. Just wait for uh, Paula to undo and rebid. Ah. That explains a lot of things. Just hang on a minute. Thank you, Paula. Okay, so now let's see how North can work this out. If South has got five controls, they've obviously got, we've obviously got uh, 11 controls between the two hands. We know that's, okay, so which control is it that you're missing, Sanya?
must be the King of Spades because we know that South has got the King of Hearts. They can't possibly have an Ace and three Kings because we've got two of the Kings. So they must have two Aces and a King. Therefore, their King is the King of Hearts. So they cannot have the King of Spades. Are we concerned about that? No. Are we concerned about what they could have in the minors? No, because they must have the Ace of Clubs and they can only have two other cards in the minors, however they are. Absolutely right, you can. Seven is absolutely odds on. Even if uh, South is void in diamonds and has got ace to three clubs, one of those club losers and a spade is going on the ace king of diamonds. Now we can try and rough the clubs good, rough some spades in our hand and discard the rest of the spades on the winning clubs. Very good. Well done, Sanya and Paula. Another case of uh, trying to analyse the hand here. And uh, you can just work out here that you absolutely need to be in seven. OK, can we have a lead, John? It's now 10 past 11 and I'm afraid I need to go to bed because I'm up at 6 o'clock in the morning and uh, I'm already an hour past my normal my normal uh, bedtime when I'm on earlys. Okay, well done you two. Um, I do apologise to uh, East West. They've had a fairly boring time of it. Uh, but on the other hand, they know these uh, sequences like the back of, like back in mind. Please do go along to John's practice tomorrow evening, guys. Uh, really worthwhile. John will have a set of cracking hands that will allow you to practice gamma and beta and alpha, hopefully. But certainly, yeah, absolutely flawless bidding by East West on these hands. Um, I couldn't fault it at all, but I think they overbid their hands terribly. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, uh, have a good week.